the quadratic formula is iconic. There are memes about it that I'm not going to put in this video because I couldn't find any that are actually funny. It's usually the longest formula that a lot of students encounter in high school, and it can look complicated, but it really only exists to make things easier. So, if you have a quadratic in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, the solutions will always be x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yeah, sure, it's kinda long, but having this formula means that we have a surefire method of solving a quadratic. When factoring doesn't work and you can't or don't want to graph, the quadratic formula is there for you. It's a hammer and every quadratic is a nail. Let's jump right into an example. Find the roots of y equals x squared minus x minus 3. Go ahead and try to factor this bad boy. It doesn't work. First step, what are a, b, and c? a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 3. The next step is just to plug them into the formula and simplify. Negative 1 squared is 1. 4 times negative 3 times 1 equals negative 12. 1 minus negative 12 is equal to 1 plus 12, which is 13. And then 2 times 1 is just 2. For this example, this is as simple as it really gets. The plus minus means that we have two solutions. One plus square root of 13 over 2 and 1 minus square root of 13 over 2. You could plug those into a calculator to get decimal values, negative 1.303 and 2.303. Whoa, 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 you might be thinking. What is that plus minus symbol and why do we need to include it? Well, think about the number 4. You can get 4 by squaring 2, but you can also get 4 by squaring negative 2. So if we think about the question, what is the square root of 4, as what is the number that is squared to get 4, there are actually two answers, positive 2 and negative 2. We can't ignore either possibility, so that's why we use the plus minus symbol to indicate that there are two answers, one where the plus minus is a plus and one where the plus minus is a minus. Let's do one more example really quick. 3x squared minus 24x plus 48. What are a, b, and c? a is 3, b is negative 24, and c is 48. Let's put them all into the formula. These numbers are pretty big, so a calculator would be useful for this one. First, 24 squared is 576, and then 4 times 48 times 3 is also 576. Since 576 minus 576 equals 0, we can get rid of this whole square root part. So negative negative 24 is just 24, and then 2 times 3 is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So this quadratic has one solution, x equals 4. You could, in theory, solve every quadratic using the quadratic formula, but would you want to? It depends on what your strengths are. Using the formula usually involves a lot of calculations, so factoring can be faster if you can do it quickly and it's a quadratic that can be factored in the first place.